Hey guys, for Unicorns here, and you might be wondering why you're staring at a screen of nothingness. Well, I'm going to be doing the revised version of the Humaze final project without Devin, because we can all admit Devin is a mistake. Okay, let's move on. Trump eats humanity's final project. By Bowen Wu, Lucas Wang, and Ensign Han. Table of Contents, Evil Slide, 3 through 16 by Lucas Wang, Good Slide, page 17 through 21 by Bowen Wu, Balance Slide, 22 through 27 by Incident Hen, The Summary, 29 by Lucas Wang, The Three Elements, 29 to 30 by Lucas Wang. So guys, this is just a summary of all of them that I made at the end. Uh, you could just pause here and just read this if you're bored. I don't know. What if you like reading in de under deaf? I don't know. But we're going to read the whole story. Bad World. This is what I created. In a world called Dark Moon, th there are evil creatures and everyone is afraid and always on the run. Everyone is scared, and there are natural disasters every second. Water and food are rare, and there are wars to find the na rare resources. Overlords, known as the Devil Guys, rule the area, and people are sacrificed for the Devil Guys. They have advanced technology and weapons and conquer any land they find with force. The Devil Guys ruled the land, but, in, in a, but then, in a legendary battle... Okay, by the way, all our stories are connected, but, like, it's really bad. Dragon the Demon Sword, Part 1, the start of the fall. Oh, I'm so cool! Okay. Our story begins with when a guy named Greg, who is a slave, to one of the most feared devil guy... Not guys, okay. Whatever. The Menace King. Greg was one of his many slaves, and the slaves were treated more worse than dirt. Then, one fateful day, Greg was called to the throne room of the Menace King. He came into the room. The throne room. No, it was a dungeon. The path there was filled with stone statues and skulls. The room itself looked like it was a scene from a horror movie. Blood was all around the room. Crushed skulls were placed in the corners, and the carpet with blood red colors flowing through it. And in the middle of the room was a giant seven foot throne with skulls lining the top and golden armrests with the seat of steel. Yeah, do you like my top ten anime betrayals impression? Okay, some pictures. Part 2. The mission. On the dark throne was a demon with red skin, with a staff made of bones, with horns of bones, bone and b dark black face. It was the Menace King. I want you to go with a small group of minions and two warriors and go... To the deep forest, he said in a commanding voice. So Greg went to the barracks to wait for the mission. At the barracks, there were some dirty stone walls and puke on the floor. There was a few other slaves there, and also one warrior there. Take those weapons, the warrior said, as he pointed at an old weapon rack of wooden bows, bronze swords, and bronze war axes. Okay, another picture of the devil guy. Random picture I found online. Don't judge me. Part 3. The Dead Desert. Greg and the others rock out the front gate. There is a massive desert for miles to come. They start their journey and begin to take their trek through the impassable desert. At first, the journey seems easy, but as the days pass by, they consume more and more food and water. They were almost out of food 
and water until they found the forest. It was a massive jungle of wood and leaves. Their mission was to find the mythical temple of the of the, of the jungle queen Uganda. There at the forest they found the temple. It was red with power. As the warriors went in a spike trap, strip layered layer on the ground was placed in the doorway and the warriors were crushed by the spikes. The slaves then realized that they were free. Some more pictures of the unpassable desert and the temple of Uganda. Part 4. The Demon Sword. They went into the temple in curiosity. The inside of the temple was very dark and the floor was very wet. They went deeper into the temple. There were traps lining the walls and traps on the floor. Only Greg was standing as the others fell into the abyss. In the deepest part of the temple lied the great sword of demons. Greg ran to the end of the temple, but the path started to get larger and wider. He kept running until he ran out of breath. The small hallway was getting larger and he couldn't keep up. Then he remembered that he had his bow and tied the arrow to a rope. He shot the arrow and grabbed onto the rope, pulling him to the other side of the hallway. He quickly grabbed the sword and the sword burst out with a red light. A coat of steel formed around him as light came from his soul. Okay, Greg and the demon sword. That's Greg with his armor. Yeah, I'm so pro. Random PNGs from the internet. I'm so cool. Part 5, Uganda. The temple soon fell silent. Then a bright light came from a hole in the wall. Uganda, the jungle queen, busts out of the wall. But Greg didn't run away. He had found a newfound strength. And he felt that he had the power to slay a lion. He charged at the jungle queen and jabbed the sword into her flesh. Uganda fought back by taking out a staff and made vines choke Greg. Greg burst with anger and his strength broke the vines coming over him. He took his sword and used ancient magic to enchant his sword with power. His sword grew and was twice Twice the size of his original sword. He smashed the sword into Uganda, the sword crushing her with the sword's power. Greg took her staff and enchanted his sword with the power of the jungle. Part 6 The Devil Greg went back to the castle that he had once been a slave in. He used his strength to break down the walls with just a swing of his sword. He ran into the throne room and put his sword to the menace king. Guards, get him! He yelled as he jumped off uh, of the throne. Off. <laughs> Warriors streamed into the room surrounding Greg. He swung his massive sword and took out all the warriors in just two swings. The menace king transformed into his devil form. He grew to eight feet and horns grew out of his head. A long dark red tail grew and his fingernails grew long, grow longer and sharper. Greg, Greg infused with strength, leap, leaped in front of the king and swung his massive broadsword at the devil. He blocked the attack with ease, shooting fireballs at Greg. Greg fell as the fireballs drew closer. Dark red light started to come on to, onto him, and his st sight started to turn black. Ah, this is so long. Did I made mine so long? Part 7, The Final Battle. Slaves rushed into the throne room, and they all t took a weapon from the dead soldiers. They revolted, and the king was not prepared. All of his warriors were dead, and he was trapped into in the throne room. The wave of people came crashing down on the devil, and he burst out with a fiery aura. The people stood back, but one person ran to the front and attacked with his sword. Once his sword touched the fire, however, the sword melted and the heat scorched the man, but he but had been able to hit a fatal hit on him. Greg woke up and ran into the battle. He saw the man who had attacked the devil, and he got so mad that a power aura formed around his body. 
across his body. He ran at the devil with a fury. His sword turned into a torch as his sword touched the fire. It lit on fire, but he still didn't give up. He transferred all of his energy into the sword. A red glow starts, starts to go through the sword as a bright light invo involved his body. He smashed the sword into the devil, breaking the fire and sl slaying the devil. Good world. Okay. This is made by Bowen. As you can see, very obviously made by Bowen. In a world called Sugarland, there's a kid called Henry, and he likes to eat cheese balls. The people in Sugarland has anything they want, so the people in the land are really lazy. This is a really good world, however, since the people of Sugarland is really stupid. The other people from other places want to conquer Sugarland. Happily, Sugarland has a force field that protects them from all invasions. However, there is an old legend, and this was before Sugarland got its force field, when the land was called Dark Moon. Oh yeah, guys, my my like these cross references here. By the way, I made this this chapter. That's why it's so long. Part one: The legend begins. Once upon a time, before Sugarland was created, there was war. Thousands died tried to run from the Lord Lobo. When all hope was lost, there was one person who was brave enough to make a sand. His name is Goud. He's willing to sacrifice anything to kill Lobo. So one day he went to the ancient temple of Uganda. Once he was inside, there were vines growing out of the walls and, the, and tree roots. Breaking through the floor, he found the jungle, jungle queen Uganda and, and he attacked her with a stick. She dodged the attack and pulled out a red glowing sword. She lashed out at Gao with her red demon sword. Gao found a weird sword on the ground and counter countered her attack and sliced her arm off. The queen retreated into the forest where she will heal and soon come back. Meanwhile, Gao was staring at, staring at his sword, wondering how this sword managed to slice off Uganda's arm off. Again, what? After that, he found some armor lying on the ground. <laughs> this this is like really good luck, apparently, dude. Like, <laughs> and wore it. Part, oh, yeah, this Okay, part two. The boat. Gal leaves the temple and learns about where Lord Lobo is. He starts to get supplies to make a boat to sail across the Sea of Deaths. Death. Eighty years later, Gao has enough supplies to last two minutes, two minutes at sea, and has made a stick, to, <laughs> made a stick to ride to Lord Lobo's base. Part three: The Battle of Hen. When Gao started to sail, he realized that he was sailing alone on a big boat, and he was go he's going really slow. After one day, his arms felt like they were a hundred tons. Now he went below deck to rest. However, below the boat is where the danger lies. Once Gao climbed on be on bed, on bed what? His boat began to shake. Gao got on the de on deck, and there was a giant octopus. Hi. Oh yeah, Devin made this picture. Okay. Gao knew he was going to lose the fight cuz he had used he used all his energy rowing the boat and now he can't even lift his sword. So now he has to leave his boat and abandon all his supplies. Suddenly a missile came out out of nowhere and destroyed the ship and the octopus and and out came a force field that would protect the stranger all that remains is the stranger hi I am the me I am menace king says the stranger I am your long lost brother and then it ends <laughs> it's so bad the balance world this is created by Vincent there was a world where everyone was what there was a world where everyone was balanced there were there was a war where the good side and the leader gao and then the bad side with their leader the menace king the leaders had war with the war and over and over they clashed until the evil king rose again and how brothers were separated and where they 
their ed odd enemies uh, makes sense. Part one: the beginning. <laughs> At the beginning of time, there there were two brothers, Gal and Menace King. They roamed across the earth looking for trouble to fight. Gal was wiser and older, while Menace King was younger but more eager. One day, they met Lord Lobo. He was more than anything they had faced before, and as soon as they saw him, Lord Lobo kidnapped Menace King and ran. Gal never forgot to look for him until one day he found the temple of Lord Lobo. He landed in the prisons. It was night. He walked slowly to the glowing cell there. His f his brother was being mutated into one of the first ever devil guys. Dun, dun, dun! Part 2. Brother. Gal quickly threw two shurikens and assassinated all that was there. He ran and said, Brother, we must leave now. And in years since he had seen his brother, but he changed a lot. A lot, mostly because of his mutations. He looked like a Hulk, but with more sharp teeth, red skin, and wings. As soon as Max King saw him, he attacked Gao. He he smashed, he threw, he bit, but he could not escape his change, and Gao could not break them. He knew he couldn't save his brother now, but he would come back later. He chucked back tears of what his brother had become and jumped out of hole <laughs> he had created to come into the temple Tr okay this is where it, it just breaks my mind okay part three training and recruiting ah the training has continued have you recruited any other fighters yet yes sir said akira who the hell is akira who knows but we have been training for three years we are ready i sighed i knew this day was to come akira all right we need we will fight lord lobo he must be stopped that they were one of the civilizations that has had not fallen to the legendary lord lobo he had become one of the most dangerous warlocks in history they had one other ally the prophetess the species who gave all of their prophecies and what would happen to you. We must journey to the land of, of the prophecies and, and request their help. If Lord Lobo grows too strong, the world will fall. They traveled to the land of the, of the prophecies, and when they arrived, they were doomed. The prophecies were under attack by Lord Lobo. Akira immediately shot them with his lasers, but it was too late. The whole city was, was burning to the ground. Okay, part four, the prophecy. The leader came up to them, clutching his stomach, blood pouring out of it with a message. Go to the land of Lobo and slay the man of blood. After, take his sword and burn it forever. But Gal, you must go alone and Lord Lobo has died. Wait, when did he die? So it cannot be him. Gal, you know who this must be after he had he, this he died. Gal thought about this and ran away with one word for his soldiers. Hide! As he, he, he ran, he thought, slay the man of blood. That must be Lord Lobo and to take his sword and burn it. He had heard of a demon sword that was hidden somewhere in the world, but no one could find it until the true wielder was found. So I, I'm confused. Part 5, what must be done? I ran to... Why is it I now? Why is it I? Okay, just don't ask. I ran to the old castle that I had gone gotten to before. It had been... Ten whole years before I... Oof. Why are you using I now? I had been here last when I saw my brother. There were many slaves in there and a man with a glowing red sword. He took the spirit of the man and supplied him with strength and killed his brother forever. He then took the sword and burned it in the forever fire, and out of it came a force field that would protect the people forever and would create world peace that everyone had dreamed of only for Sugarland. <laughs> you can read it. I don't, I don't care. And the the! Hopefully you like this video, and if you like this video, please subscribe and turn on the notifications and um see you guys later